can hear you downstairs. Do you want to wait a few more minutes or do you want to get started? Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, hey guys, we are so glad that you are here today and that we get to celebrate with a few more hallelujahs before we start Lent. So I'm going to let Mr. Bruce sing an hallelujah song. And while he is doing that with us, let's sing along and wave our hallelujahs okay guys all right we're gonna start with one we should know because we just sang it last week feel free if you want to to unmute and sing along with me i know it'll be all off but it'll be fine i'll keep it going i promise you ready we'll do it tw twice through most favorite Alleluia songs. So today is the first Sunday in Lent. So we are going to take the Alleluia's out of our liturgy this week. Now liturgy is just a big fancy word for some of the words that we say during our worship services. And some of the songs that we sing have Alleluia's in them, but not during Lent. So we put away the Alleluia's songs during the season of Lent. So that's why we wanted to go ahead and do that with you guys. Now at church, we have an Alleluia that hangs in our Sunday school area, but we take it down during Lent. But we haven't been together, so we can't do that, right? So we are going to do that today. You guys have your own hallelujahs and you're going to take them down during this season of Lent. And that will help you remember that the hallelujahs kind of go away. The season of Lent is to represent the time where Jesus was in the desert and he was tempted. And that is what we are reading about today in our Spark Story Bible. If you have your Bible, we are on page 248, 248. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and get there. Mr. Bruce, while we are finding that, will you sing us another song? I will. Thank I you. Myself, so we're gonna sing hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. We're gonna sing it all together. But then the next time I'm gonna sing the hallelujahs. You can sing that with me, but then I'm gonna put my ear here. I wanna hear you sing. Praise ye the Lord, okay? Let's review it so we make sure we all know it, okay? So it goes like this. Hallelujah, 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 praise, praise ye the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Lord. And there's another part. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Okay, let's all sing it together once through, two, all right, and sing. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right, some of you are already doing this, but when we sing hallelujah, I want you to shake your hallelujahs. And then I'm going to put my ear up this time, and I want to hear you sing praise ye the Lord. If you're muted, that's okay. But if you're not muted, I want to hear it, okay? Here we go. Two, all righty, and sing. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. 
chaos but it is one of my favorite yeah. things to see since we're not together i like the chaos of singing together all right guys if you are ready we're gonna sing our not sing i'm not gonna sing this to you we're gonna read tempted from our spark story bible okay you guys ready tempted after jesus was baptized in the jordan river god led him to the desert Jesus was all alone without any food for 40 days. He prayed to God for help, but it was still really hard to be in the wilderness. Jesus got very hungry. His stomach was rumbling. The devil came to Jesus and tried to tempt him. If you are God's son, tell, uh, tell the stone to turn bread for you to eat. Did, that, did I read that right? Tell the stone to turn to bread. There we go. That was the word I left out. To turn to bread for you to eat. Jesus remembered God's words and answered, no one can live on food alone. Then the devil led Jesus up to a place where he could see all the kingdoms of the world and said, I can give the world to anyone. If you turn away from God, you could be the king with power all over these lands. People would worship and honor only you. Jesus remembered more of God's words. Worship and serve only God. Lastly, the devil tempted Jesus to jump off the roof of the temple. If you are God's son, jump. God will send angels to protect you. They will catch you so you will not get hurt. But Jesus knew the word of God also says, don't test God. Je Jesus was tempted three times to go against God's word. Each time Jesus knew God was with him. Each time Jesus said no. Jesus was in the desert and hungry for a long time. He was happy that God was also with him. Sorry, always with him, especially when he was tempted to do wrong. Our Bible tells us to practice saying no. Let's practice. Let's, on the count of three, let's do it. One, two, three. <laughs> Unmute yourselves. Can we do that? Unmute yourselves and then let's do it. No. 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 Yeah. We got some good knowers. <laughs> we sure did. We sure did. Pastor Lori is going to help us understand this a little bit better. Take it away, Pastor Lori. Okay. When um when we are um when somebody wants us to do something that we are not supposed to do. What do we say? No. But when our mommies and daddies ask us to do something, we don't tell them no, do we? No. Also during Lent, not only do we practice saying no, we also practice spending time with God. And Mr. Bruce is going to put up a picture for you to look at. Mr. Bruce, can you help me out? Okay, look at that. That is my puppy, George. And George is 16 weeks old today. 
And he loves, loves, loves to play ball outside. And he loves to chase his, his um, friends um, that live next door. And he, he um, has missed out on that this week because it rained so much and we had ice and he couldn't yeah. go outside and play. Yeah. You know what he got? He got the Zoomies. Does anybody know what Zoomies are? Zoomies are when little puppies get a whole lot of energy built up and they just, we call it playing go crazy in the house. And he runs around the couch and he runs in the living room and in the dining room through the kitchen and back to the playroom. And he just goes wild. And then after about three spins around the house, I have to catch him and I have to say, be still, George, be still, be still, George, so that he will calm down and um, get ready to go to sleep, either to take a nap or to go to bed. And sometimes, do you ever get um, something like the Zoomies where it's hard for you to settle down? And you're just playing just really, really hard. And it's time for you to um, go to the table and have a meal. Or it's time for you to go to bed and say your prayers. And we have to calm ourselves down also. And you, sometimes you may feel like George and you're just too distracted. Well, I've got a prayer for you today that will help you be still. And we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say it and I want you to say it after me. So unmute yourselves. And this time you don't have to close your eyes when you pray, because we are going to, we are going to um, touch our head and our minds and our heart and our hands and our feet. So let's practice being still so that we can Spend a little more time with God. Are you ready? Okay. No. Let us pray. Say it after me. Be still, my heart. Be still. Be still, my heart. Be still, my mind. Be still, my heart. Be still. 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 And you can use that prayer anytime that, that your mommies or daddies say, it's time for you to settle down. You can remember that and you can touch your mind and your heart and your feet and your hands and just repeat being still. And then that way, when you use, remember this calendar that you got? <laughs> And, and it gives you the opportunity to pray for someone and then color color the cross if that's what you want to do. You can, you can start your prayer with the be still prayer and then either um, thank God for something or pray for someone or um, thank God for the sunshine so that you can go outside and get rid of some of your zoomies. So as you can see, I've already colored my cross today because I, I did the be still prayer and I thanked God for being able to be with you this morning. So thank you for being good listeners and being still and saying that prayer. Okay, Miss Leanna. Thank you, Pastor Lori. That helped us understand it a lot more. Before we go to Pastor Paul, do you think we should sing another Alleluia song? You think so? I think so too. Mr. Bruce, you got another one for us? I got one more. Awesome. So, 
before I sing it, when I heard getting the Zoomies, I thought it was because we're spending so much time on Zoom. <laughs> so, we all have the Zoomies. <laughs> and we're yeah, we Normally, we would shake each other's hands, give a high five, all that thing, but we can't do that because we're on Zoom. So, we're going to wave to each other. Wave to your friends, wave to your friends, wave to your friends and sing this song. Wave to your friends, wave to your friends, wave to your friends and sing. Sing all la 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 Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash 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 your hands, wash 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 and sing, sing la 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 don't forget your mask. Don't Thank you, Mr. Bruce. I like all the new ways that we got to sing that song. No patting people on the back. I guess if we were in, together, we could bump each other's elbows, but I liked your version. Guys, Pastor Paul is going to talk to us next. Yep. I miss so much when I say I invite my young friends forward to the steps for a children's sermon and can't wait till we can do that again. And mommies and daddies, we're working so hard right now to do safe things to get us back together. And hopefully by summertime, we may be able to start those if things go well. So as you have your alleluias here, we're going to put these away for the next 40 days during Lent. Now, normally at church, we would bury those but we've had to put a lot of things away this year. We've had to put a lot of things that we would normally do, like go to friends' houses or go places or go to fun things or trips. We've had to put all those away. And so while we need to put away our alleluia, let's do it in a way that we know that God's going to bring it back, just like God is going to bring back everything that we're hoping for. And that's why God is working so hard with all those who are making vaccines and taking care of us and all the teachers and essential workers and medical people. That's all God helping us to one day bring back our alleluias. And that's so important to remember. So what I want you to do today is that you can fold yours up nicely. I don't think I'll be able to fold mine as pretty as Leanna had it in the bag. And then once we have them folded, we're going to put them back in the bags that they came in, or if those disappeared, you can put them in any other Ziploc bag. No big deal. And we're going to seal them up. And you can do this. If you don't finish right now, that's okay. You can finish afterwards. We're going to seal them up. And then instead of burying them, instead of hiding them, let's put them somewhere where they're out of reach, but maybe we can still see them. Because we can be reminded that one day we'll say Alleluia, which means yay God again. And we're close to that. Because we've had a lot of Lent things in our lives, things we haven't been able to do. God's going to bring us back to that. Now, as Pastor Lori said, we've got this great little thing that Miss Leanna made. because She made all sorts of awesome things and brought them to your houses. And inside, we do hope that you color every day. Now, just to be technical... The 40 days don't include Sundays because every Sunday is actually a little Easter to remind us of God's love for us. So we actually have 46 days to color between now and Easter. And when we get done with that, we'll be able to pull our alleluias out again. And parents, grandparents, there's some really great ways of praying on the front, the thankful, the Lent prayers, the colorful prayers. And I hope that your family can do some of those each day during Lent, depending on 
what age works best for your family. But thanks, Miss Leona, for bringing those. Okay, did that give everybody a moment to put their hallelujahs in a bag? I think we're pretty close. Okay, so why don't you hold them and I'm going to say a prayer, okay? And you can repeat after me, just like we do our prayers in church. All right, ready? Good morning, God. Thank you for always being with us. Even when times are hard. And even when it's hard to say alleluia, remind us that we will again. Help us to never forget that you send people to take care of us and to look out for us. And until we say alleluia again, help us to share your love. We love you, God. Amen. All right. You guys did a great job. Parents will do our next thing around Palm Sunday. Your children's ministry team is thinking about some really creative ways of doing that. But we're so glad to see you all. And we miss everyone. The next opportunity to be in community is March 7th. We'll have our next drive through communion. If you want to come and do that, we would love to see you. Miss Leanna, do you want to wrap us up? Just one more thing I wanted to say, if right before you put away your alleluia, if you could send, have your moms or dads or grandparents send me a picture of you holding it, I've got a great idea for Easter. So I need a photo of my friends holding their alleluias. If you haven't decorated it yet, you can do that this afternoon. Um, just take your time, and just send it to us however you want to. Um, it's not a rush because it's for Easter, but Again, we're putting our alleluias away for the day. Um, that's it for me. I don't have anything else. Pastor Lori, Bruce, anything? Okay. Well, that's we miss you all, and we're so thankful for you. And we'll say the same words that we would at the end of the church. Say, go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, you can unmute and say on your friends for a few minutes if you want.